guys and welcome back to my channel so today I am back with another video today's video is going to be all about my red hair I've actually gotten so many compliments and so many questions about my red hair ever since I started having red hair I actually started having red hair I think I'm gonna go on four years now four years strong of being a redhead and I absolutely love it I think red really suits me and if you guys didn't know red is my favorite color so I just really love it and I think I'm going to be a redhead forever I don't see myself changing my hair color so I just really really enjoy it and since I've been getting a lot of questions and I've actually have been holding this video for a really long time because I've had been wanting to put it up i really hope you guys enjoy my how to get red hair and if you guys would like to know kind of how i take care of it and how i maintain it healthy because i do do a couple of things to my hair just because dyeing your hair does damage your hair a lot if you guys would like to see a separate video on all of that and all of my hair care then just go ahead and comment down below and like this video okay so the things that i usually need and i actually i'm gonna have some clips in here and fyi um the clips are from like a year ago because I have been planning like I said to do this video for a really really long time so I'm so sorry that this video has gone up after like a year but I'm gonna be telling you guys what it is that I use so all of the items that I use for my hair I do get them at Sally's Beauty if you don't have a Sally's Beauty supply store by you they always do ship um, I'm actually looking at all the items online so they do ship to you if it is that you want to have red hair so I really do hope you guys enjoyed this and if you have any other questions for me just go ahead and comment them down below um, or DM me on Instagram Twitter anything you'd like I'm more than happy to always let people know about my hair because I know that it is pretty hard um, to get this shade of red especially so the products that I use to get my hair red are as follows the colors that I use for my hair are two different colors one is called red hot and one is called magenta and I am going to be linking all the things that I'm talking about um, as well if you guys just so you guys have a uh, quick access to them they're both called the L'Oreal Technique excellence high color for the magenta one it does say red highlights so I believe the magenta color is usually for the highlights but what I do is depending on how red I want them because if you use magenta that'll just make it brighter instead of the red hot so the color that I have right now that I actually dyed it like two days ago is red hot and magenta put together so if it is that I'd say like in the fall I like having more of a burgundy color I'll just use two boxes of the red hot if it is that I want a more burgundy color but if it is that I want a more brighter color then I just use two magenta so it just depends on what I'm feeling or like the season or, or just stuff like that or what it is that I have because usually I just buy them in bulk and then just just have them for like the next weeks and these hair dyes do retail for about like 680 but if you have a Sally's card I believe it's only six dollars so it's not expensive but um maintaining the color could get expensive the question that people are always asking me is how often I wash my hair and how often I have to dye it so for the washing of hair I could go up to not even gonna lie like five or six days without washing my hair just because my hair does not get oily and I feel like it doesn't get oily as much anymore just because I've been dyeing my hair for quite some time so I feel like my head and my hair are kind of used to it and it doesn't produce as much oil as other people but um, yeah so I could go let's say like three four five I never go less um, than three days just because if you wash it often it will get orange just so um, if I do like every four days or every five days then I only have to end up dyeing it every three weeks or even a month but in the beginning let's say your, your hair is pretty oily then I would suggest that you just wash it every two days and then just have to retouch your hair every two weeks I also wanted to go ahead and make note of that the hair dye that I use is specifically for dark hair so before having red hair I used to have kind of brownish black color my natural hair color is kind of a black color I believe I had dyed it black brown so then from there um, I didn't have to bleach my hair I didn't have to do anything else basically that's usually what people ask me to if I have to bleach it to get this color and if you have dark hair I will suggest not bleaching it because once you bleach it that just one messes up your hair and it makes the red fade even faster so if you have like black even if you have black hair um the first time that you do it is going to be a little bit darker so i would suggest you just do two of the magenta like i was saying but um i would just never suggest you bleach it just because it's just going to fade even faster and you're going to ruin your hair so like i said the hair dye that i use is specifically for dark hair color so you should be fine um if you have like a black or brownish 
transparent. Even if you have, I believe, blonde color, it should pick up the color. I just don't know how it's going to pick it up. So that's the two hair dyes that I use. When I retouch, I don't only just do my roots. I just do my whole hair and my hair is pretty thick so it does take me two boxes so depending on how thick and how long your hair is is how many boxes you you would do um when i used to have like short hair like this i would just have just use one box but like now that my hair is longer i use two boxes so it just depends on how much hair you have also the developer that i use because you do have to mix the hair dye with the developer i use the volume 30 the box i believe it says you could either use volume 30 or volume 40 but um that's just one of my tips to not damage your hair as much as to use just 30 and it still comes out good because i do think that 40 obviously just damages your hair more just because it's stronger so i would recommend you use 30 that's what i use and i also use this sort of like vitamin thing i don't know the name of right now but i do have a clip of it so i'm gonna go ahead and put the clip and i'll go ahead and obviously link it down below as well um but i do mix that into my hair dye and that's basically all I do. Um, it does give you like fluid ounce measurements, but the cup that I have has, has millimeters. So what I do is just I just convert it. I just look it up how much fluid ounces is to millimeters and just like that. It's very, very easy to dye your hair. If you guys do want to see how it is that I dye my hair, because I usually do it by myself. Um, actually, this time my grandma did my hair. And I mean... She's a little bit older, so she did kind of miss some spots, but she's trying her best, okay? Um, so I don't I don't mind it. Like, it's still, it's still cute, and it's still good. I really do like my hair, so if you guys would like to see kind of like a tutorial or like a walkthrough kind of sort of thing, then just go ahead and let me know. I can always go ahead and do that for you guys as well. And I think that's basically all that I use for to dye my hair and I think I pretty much covered all the questions that people usually ask me I am gonna go ahead and just show you guys a clip of my hair just in this like lighting just so you guys can see like the finished product like I said I use one box of magenta and one box of red hot and all the products that I use on my hair once again I do get them from Sally's Beauty I'm not sponsored or anything but um, I just love them so much you do get discount if you have a card with them I believe the card is like five dollars so if you are really into like beauty supplies is like hair dyeing or like I believe they have makeup or like styling tools and all of that or even I believe they have hair too but yeah you guys should go ahead and just invest in that it's just five dollars and, and it has discounts on like the whole store it's basically all that I have to say I think I covered every I think I covered pretty much everything if you have any other questions about my hair or if you guys would like to see kind of like a healthcare video on how it is that I take care of my hair like I said comment down below and go ahead and like this video if you have any other questions, just go ahead and comment them down below as well. Um, I don't mind answering any of your questions. I'm really, really sorry that this video is going up super, super late because there's been so many people that have asked me how it is that I dye my hair. So here it is, guys. So don't hate me. <laughs> Pretty much it for the video. Let me stop rambling. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to give it a like once again. Subscribe for more if you guys would like to see more of my face and my red hair. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.